Hello there. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? It's Jim. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, we are listening to Agalock. The album is called Ashes Against the Grain. This is a uh, request from Ryan for his um, membership of the channel. It's his uh, choice for his album for me to play, uh, for signing up and and giving me his patronage, as it were. So we've... Uh, a few a couple of months ago, three months ago maybe, uh, we listened to an album called The Mantle, uh, which I mistakenly thought was newer than this one. Actually, that was that was older than this. This is the, uh, I think probably the follow up to The Mantle. Um, we listened to part one yesterday. We had four tracks. Today we have got four more, and they are as follows. <clears throat> uh, not unlike the waves. Then six, seven, and eight. I think kind of probably going to blur into one. Uh, so it's our fortress is burning, blood birds, and the grain. Um, so I'm not sure we'll know where they <laughs> start and end, but uh, that is what we are listening to. Uh, I hope you are enjoying this. It's not for everybody. I know that. Um, I very, very much like this. It's uh, not 100% convinced on some of the uh, harsher vocals at the minute, but uh, I'm trying to get my ear in. I mean, I'm, as you know, I'm, I'm well, well happy with uh, harsh vocals and a lot of stuff. I'm just not quite sure he's got the, the tone that I enjoy, to put it that way. Anyway. Uh, where are we going? Here we go. Let's start this off. Then this is the first track, not unlike the waves. Three, two, one, bosh. <laughs> Strong beginning. Like that a lot. Ja, ja, ja. Oh, oh, oh. Ja, ja, ja. Very cool indeed.
lovely tone on the guitar there. So sort of like Dave Murray-ish. is the first of three. This is uh, track six, seven, and eight. Our fortress is burning. Not sure if these are actually the vocals, I think. The god of man is a failure. Our fortress is burning against the grain of the shattered sky. Charred birds escape from the ruins and return to return as cascading blood. 
drying bloodbirds pooling, feeding the flood. The god of man is a failure, and all of our shadows are ashes against the grain. Oh. I hope you're listening on really good headphones to this because this is an absolutely amazing sounding record. Next part, no lyrics on the first one. This one is uh, Bloodbirds.
This is so good. Really, really, really good. Follow the lyrics. is this, the grain. seven minutes of sound effects. It's incredible what you can do with a guitar, isn't it? And you plug it into enough different effects, stomp boxes and turn them all to the max.
like um, ambient drone soundscape. No, no, well, not like it. It is an ambient drone soundscape, but it would be amazing on a science fiction film score. Something like um, Blade Runner. So Van Gelis actually touched on elements of this in some of his score, didn't he? This is going to be on here. This is very exciting. I love it. He's going to do much more. was the conclusion to Ashes Against the Grain by Agaloch. Um, <laughs> ooh, what an amazing album. 
what an amazing sounding album. Um, one of the joys, one of the great joys of this channel is discovering this incredible music. Um, a lot of what I hear, there is a sort of like a snowball in hell's chance that I'd ever have heard it or ever be able to get around to hearing it because it's so not on my radar, so not something I would ever... Uh, sort of even inadvertently steer into um, there's a lot of stuff obviously that there's a potential uh, some of the big bands like sort of things like Yes um, and ELP and Genesis and things like that which I should have probably listened to earlier in my life and never did I probably would have got around to listening to because they are sort of staples they're there they're known quantities they are big known entities Agaloch while probably very well known and respected within its its circle its circle is a small a small a small circle a circle what's a circle <laughs> and it, it's a small circle it's a very small um, pool of artists and bands and I've now heard two of their albums, and I am absolutely flabbergasted at how good it is. Um, it's not a leap of a million miles to go from something like Mogwai to this. Um, this sort of post-metal, post-rock, uh, experimental black metal sound is probably closer to that's Yeah, so the sort of um, Mogwai style. Uh, I guess what were they called? Are they post rock as well? That, but that's sort of style than it is to sort of traditional metal. Um, so maybe I would have eventually got there. I don't know. If, the, if I listen via Spotify and, and let the algorithm take me, I might have got there. But uh, I don't do that very much. So you, the listener, the subscriber, the member of the channel, the patrons, uh, my, uh, uh, my algorithm. <laughs> thank you, Ryan, thank you so much. I absolutely love this. I know it's not everybody who will have enjoyed it. Um, uh, I know that people will not be watching it at all. And those who do watch it, will me and turn away from it, that's fine. There'll be something else along in due course that you will like. Um, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Huh. That last... This last side... It's not a side, is it? These last four tracks are just brilliant. I mean, the second half of this album is fantastic. It's just... Mind-blowingly good! Anyway, stop. <laughs> ah, bring it back down, Jim. I'll see you on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim, over.